So I drove to pick you up at the station uh, and I was running late uh, and, and the car was in the red so I, um, I filled her up at the Merco and uh, oh and the U on the, the sign was out and then I met you and, um, and then you dropped your bags off at mine and then we had sex. And then you showered and then you changed and then we went to meet your dad for a drink. And then when well, we came here. This time last week. Oh, uh, no idea. Try. Uh, um, ah, I considered for your birthday driving to Canterbury to buy you a jumper, but I stayed in instead and played Mario Kart. I'm sorry. So this woman you've been studying, she remembers everything? Yeah. Everything she ever did? She can recall everything from the age of about four. A plane crashes, royal births, random stuff. Day by day, hour by hour, where she was, when, with who. Where were you on the 7th of June, 2008? Well, it was your birthday. Mm -hmm. And... We'd only just met, so this should be easy. I took you to see in Bruges. It was good. It was terrible. But people remember things through repetition, right? Yeah, people repeat or rehearse, and that rehearsal helps the brain store memories long-term in the hippocampus. And this woman's brain is the same as our brains? No, she's got bigger than normal temporal lobes, but we don't know yet if that's cause or effect. You mean whether the way she remembers things makes a change to her brain or the difference in her brain results in the way she remembers? Yeah. Oh, can you imagine being able to remember everything? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, nothing. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, where, where does a hippo live in his first year at university? Hippo campus. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fascinating, Ella. We've come back and we decided we wanted to stop and get some beers at this off license. What was it called? Dodos. Dodo. Yeah. Dodos off license. So we've <laughs> gone in, there's me, Danny, Gary, and well, Dom. We've gone in, got these beers, come out. Dom's gone. Nowhere to be seen. <laughs> no sign of him. <laughs> so we've come down. Oh, all right. Hello, matey. So, there's this couple downstairs. They've been staring at each other for the last hour over the dregs of their wine. Like, I mean, buy another bottle or fuck off. What are you smiling at? A lady. Jealous. Hey, I get my fair share. See, your problem is you overfish. They set up quotas for people like him. Me, I could have any lady I wanted. I could go out there right now and return with the lady of my choosing. All right, go on then. All right, mm -hmm. I will. Actually, I gotta move the boat for the morning, but then I'm done. <laughs> oh, can you sort out them for the bill if they want to pay? They probably won't, but if they're looking to get paid. All right, Harvey. Yeah. Open another bottle of wine, will you? If you insist. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the home, the home, the home, perched up, 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 I'm fine. Is that yours, is it? You haven't been chucked out of home or anything? Oh, God, no, no. What, Jella Cummins? No. Uh, no, uh, I've got a plane to catch first thing in the morning, so. You're, uh, Belfast, yeah? 
Yeah. You, uh... What's the last county you think of? Leitrim. Bingo. <laughs> um, my, my restaurant, or my Ophel's restaurant, it's just over there if you, um, fancy grabbing a hot whiskey or something, just to warm up, like. No, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Are you sure? It's just, um, just a hot one to see you off. Would you have invited me if I was homeless? Maybe not for a hot whiskey, uh, but a cup of tea. That's nice. Ah, go on then. Here, let me, I'll get that for you. Thanks. Cheers. October 26, 2011. Uh, Ella's 18th. Mm -hmm. Me and Lisa had sex in your car. That is. Uh, June 7th, 2012. Uh, what, my birthday? Ah, Ella couldn't make it. And uh, you took me to the Cushing and then left me on my own to go off with the Italian. Sophia. Cradle snatcher, yeah. Actually, I've been, uh, I've been spending some time with her. What? When? A few times. And over the summer, we, uh... I thought you, you were in Ibiza. She, uh... She wants to go out. Go out? Actually, she, she wants me to move to Italy. Cool, man. It's great. I mean, mornings won't be the same without your, your peachy little bum running <laughs> down the corridor. What? Yeah. Mark's got a cracking ass. Nice spot on yours. <laughs> Fuck. Italy. All right, guys. I'll get out. No, seriously, come on. We've got company. Gentlemen, this is Tia. Hi. Hi. So you really did bring back a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so how many strange women has Mark brought back then? I think you're the only woman Mark's brought back. <laughs> All right, <laughs> steady on, Mike. I think I'll take that as a compliment then. So where are you going? I'm going to Australia. My uncle lives out there. He lives in Melbourne and I love neighbours. So it's a match made in heaven. God. <laughs> Everyone's going places. Melbourne, Milan. I'm jealous. So why didn't you spend your last night in Whitstable then? Uh, I guess I've known for a long time that I needed to make a change. But I've felt tied down. This is my way of uh, cutting the ties loose. Good for you. <laughs> is Madge still in Neighbours? No, she's dead. What, the character? And the actress. She died like six years ago. Well, that's a, that's shame. a shame. What about your man? Um, flaming Nora. Oh, you flaming galah. <laughs> <laughs> no one in Neighbours does that. There is this big baldy lad. Unless you're thinking of Lynn's husband. I met him, you know, in a bar in Belfast. And then we went for an ice cream on the beach. So what's your earliest memory? My old fella, get me the dive underneath the boat to unhook some netting. 
I was seven years old, man. You know, child labour impedes physical and intellectual development. Oh, well, that explains a lot. <laughs> Harvey, Danny and I will have to visit you once I'm back in summer. So you're moving back? Danny hates London. Danny, I told Harvey we could visit him in Sofia in the summer. I have a job. You could take a bit of time off. Summer's the busiest time. And me and Mark have got plans. Yeah, I know, but... It's a stupid idea. For the last six months, I've woken up every day waiting for you to call and say that we're over. I don't understand. And then I realise that you're not going to. And you'll come back and live here whether you want to or not. I'm going to do research at Canterbury. You're an alchemist, Ella, you know that. You have this amazing ability to see the best in situations and turn anything into gold. But in ten years' time, you'll regret it. And me. You don't want Whitstable. Or the University of Kent. Admit it. Come to London. I've really wanted you to want what I want. But we don't fit anymore. So are they breaking up then? Probably. They've been together a good while. Yeah, six years. <sighs> Danny's parents died when he was 14. And then it was just me and him. And then me, him and Ella. Now I'm going to Italy. Looks like Ella's not coming back from London. Yeah, and she shouldn't. I'm just worried about him, you know? But what are you going to do? If I go and Harvey goes... It's not your problem. I'm sorry. You mentioned earlier you were tying up loose ends. What was that about? Uh... My mum died in Whitstable. We were on a holiday and she was swimming in the Swain. Next thing you know, there was a current and she washed up in Dead Man's Cove. Oh, Jesus. I'm here to say goodbye. Look after Danny. Somehow I think he can look after himself. We're going to buy a bear. <laughs> nice. Danny's dad left him a fishing license. He's going to sell it. The Neptune came up for sale, so we're going to go for it. Suits me to get out of here. Well, that's great. Cheers, man. Well, looks like this is the night where we make things happen. <laughs> ch 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 changes. For fuck's sake, <laughs> come on. Killed it. Always. <laughs> Always. Always. <laughs> Ten years' time, someone's going to ask you about your 21st birthday and you're going to say that you had a great time and... and it was the end of one part of your life and the beginning of a bright future. I will. Right to you. Your taxi is here. Now, one for the road and for the birthday girl. <laughs> Shit, I must forget the fucking glasses. Yeah, no, wait, 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 this is these. You sure? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of coffee from the All right, guys. <clears throat> Sorry. Cheers, mate. There you go. Oh, 
Safe, safe travels. travels. Safe, safe travels. travels and happy birthday. Safe travels and happy birthday. Ooh. 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 <laughs> what a coffee. It's grainy, isn't it? Well, it's weird, isn't it? It's grainy. It's really weird. I don't know about you, but I ain't one. Have a sec. Yeah, go on. I love one. Why not? On a mission, though.